What's up, Cal Gang? Today we got some cross product problems on our hand. Uh, these things are kind of complicated when you first look at them. Like, I remember thinking, like, how do I solve these when I first got to them? But in reality, it's just remembering some uh, simple rules and then knowing cross, just some uh, simple foundations of cross products. So let's, let's give this a shot. So what you do, basically, when you have a, 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 you know, a vector crossed with you know, a function, or not a function, but you know, parentheses, is you can foil it just like you'd foil numbers, right? So that'd be k cross i uh, plus k cross negative two j. All right, so what do we do with k cross i? Well, you can do the right hand rule, right? All right, so let's think about it. So what you wanna do with the right hand rule is you point your fingers at the top one. So k, imagine k, i, j, k, it's pointing straight up. This is the z product, basically. So it's straight up, and then i is this x direction. So this is x, and when you curl your fingers down from the vector k to i, you notice your thumb is pointing in the direction of j, right? So this is where the cross product of k and i will go. So it's gonna be just j, and then plus. So k cross with 2j. So let's think about it, or negative 2j. Well, the negative two is just a scalar, but it means it's just going along the j direction. So k cross with j, let's think about this. Hmm. So i, j, k, k is pointing straight up, but then it's negative j. So let me think, let's point in the negative j. So this is just gonna be i, right? So this is gonna be i, but we still have our thing in front of it, so it's two i. And that's our answer, pretty simple, right? Uh, so practice the right hand rule. You might wanna watch a better video than me because I don't think I explained it very well. Uh, I'll try to do it really quick, actually. So this is i, this is j, this is k, right? This is, you know, the x, y, z. So what I was doing, k cross i, I was putting my hands like this, pointing at k, bringing it down to i, and you notice the thumb is like pointing in the direction of j. That means that it's j. That's where the cross product's gonna go. In this case, because it's like perfect 90 degree angles, you know it's gonna go perfect 90 degrees orthogonal to i and j. But you actually don't even need to do the right hand rule for this. You know that the, uh, the product that's orthogonal to both of these is just going to go that way, which is the same as j. All right, so let's do it for this next one. So once again, we can foil. So boom, 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 do all those things. This is, uh, what is this, like elementary school? This is middle school, probably middle school. All right, so it's going to be j cross k plus j cross negative i minus k cross k and then negative k cross i. Negative i. All right, so first we look at this and we know that when cross products are parallel, that it's gonna be equal to zero. So obviously k and k and, neg k and negative k, zero, boom. They're orthogonal, or they're parallel, they're gonna be zero. All right, so now we have j and k. So let's do the same thing. Let's, let's make this graph. I actually kinda like this graph. This is x or i. This is y or j, this is z or k. All right, so j and k, it's gonna be this plane. So what's gonna be orthogonal to this plane, it's gonna be the x, which is i. So this is gonna be equal to i. So j cross negative i. So we have j, it's going this way, but negative i. So let's do this right hand rule, pointing at j, curling to negative i. That means that it's gonna be k. And then minus, okay, so it's gonna be whatever. So let's do k, negative k, so it's going to be down, pointing to negative, is that a j or i? That's an i. Negative i, so it's going to be like this, boom, curl, it's going to go to j. And yeah, that's our answer right there. i plus j plus k, pretty simple answer. So yeah, uh, Google the right hand row because I don't think I explained it well enough, but there's how you find the answers to these. Uh, hopefully I did explain it well enough. Uh, but yeah, so that's how you do these kind of problems. Good luck on your calc homework.